ID8 Software creates high-quality software solutions for the AEC industry. In this video, we'll present an overview of how ID8 Explorer for Revit is being leveraged by structural customers around the world to work smarter in the Revit building information model. ID8 Explorer is an essential project navigation and selection tool and is designed for daily production work. As the building information model grows, the Revit project team will be spending more and more time finding the right elements to edit and making sure that they found them all. Let's see how model complexity is a very real challenge to team productivity. If you're a daily Revit user, you've undoubtedly encountered this scenario where you cannot select elements by view or project as shown. ID Explorer makes selection easy. Let's see how. ID Explorer lets you display your project in a variety of ways. You can sort the data quickly to suit the task at hand, and you can quickly filter the elements. In this example, we'll look only at the elements within the active view. This detail was made from a CAD import and is in desperate need of some cleanup. I can use ID Explorer to browse the project and find the lines called S-Beam. As we select the first one here, it highlights in the view and we can see that it is assigned to S-Beam. Without ID Explorer to select all these lines though, we'd be hard pressed. There is no option to select them all and so we'll have to resort to holding our control key down to carefully select the ones we believe are the S-Beam line style. As you can see, this is a pretty tedious task. Without ID Explorer, your staff is wasting time by opening each view where these lines might exist and then only using their eyeballs to complete this task. Another challenge to productivity stems from the fact that Revit's project browser doesn't contain all possible elements. If you're searching for openings, for example, you could use the search tool and find some elements that contain the word opening as shown. But with ID Explorer, the same type of text search returns all those elements at once and includes these walls and shaft openings that the browser cannot help you find. And it's not just openings, the same kind of problem persists with text, dimensions, reference planes, and so forth. It's like asking someone to find something on the internet without having the ability to Google. The same applies to finding the right schedule or view. It's easy if you have just a handful of views, but as your project grows, so does this challenge. While the project browser provides an excellent method for organizing sheets and views, it doesn't let you organize the legends or schedules. And because the browser organization impacts the whole team, it's a one-size-fits-all solution that limits its usefulness. Lastly, as we saw earlier, the search tool within the project browser is extremely limited. Within ID Explorer, Navigate provides an efficient way to expertly find and open your sheets, views, schedules, and legends. The production team will use Navigate to find and open unused sheets and views, or to find schedules by category and or by keyword. Lastly, Navigate lets staff customize their view into the Revit project without altering the project browser. For example, if you wanted to find elements that relate to concrete, you can add this in the search box and instantly see only those schedules, sheets, and views that relate to the word concrete. There's no need to alter the project browser and risk negatively impacting the rest of the team while you do your work. With Navigate, the team can move efficiently around any Revit project, but Explore is not just for the production team. It's also a comprehensive quality assurance solution for building information model managers. We recommend weekly project auditing as part of a quality assurance process. With Explorer, BIM managers can begin with the built-in ID8 audit filter, which highlights the 2D and 3D elements that can benefit the most from quality assurance. Our top 10 auditing tips are shown here and are also documented in our help file. One common auditing task for structural projects is to use Explorer to find the unnamed reference planes. When left unchecked, these can create a lot of visual clutter in the model environment, making it difficult to work. Use Explorer to select the unnamed reference planes and then use the delete button to keep the project clean. And keeping work sets organized is another essential QA process. Here we can see that some floors have slipped into the architectural link work set and some foundations are also incorrectly placed on the site work set. Explore highlights these liabilities and makes it easy to select and move them to the proper place. So let's take a closer look at auditing with ID8 Explorer. We'll begin by using the ID8 audit filter that's built in. This displays a list of elements that are most likely to need your attention. 
CAD imports need your attention because they in, can impact file performance and plotting, and there's no good way to understand their presence within the Revit project. But with ID Explorer, we can easily find them and then double-click to open a view where the item can be viewed. This makes it easier for us to decide whether we can delete the element or not. And even when elements are hidden, they can still be selected for editing, and in many instances, Explorer can provide further assistance by opening the view where they're hidden. When you're ready to delete elements, ID Explorer gives you the opportunity to double check before you complete your deletion. Now there's no excuse for elements that have mysteriously been deleted. ID8 Query is a powerful tool that's found within ID Explorer that lets you dig deeper into the Revit model. BIM managers and production staff alike will find the Query tool an invaluable way to make complex selection sets or to audit the model. Let's see how. In this example, we'll use Query to take a look at the dimensions used in the project. Begin by selecting the dimensions and then launch ID8 Query from the button near the search tool. ID8 Query will then return a list of all the possible properties for the dimensions. As you select a property, you'll see a summary of the values on the right-hand side. You can also use the search box to quickly find the property that you need. A great tip for project auditing is to review the value override property. Here we can see that thankfully only one of the dimensions has been overridden. Use the query results to refine the selection and then use Explore to open the correct view. An ID Explorer is not just for projects. When used within the family editor environment, BIM managers can ensure quality by checking things like the visibility settings of all the symbolic lines, as shown here. And likewise, within template files, BIM managers should use Explorer to ensure that stray CAD imports, images, and non-standard object styles are removed before they are published company-wide. With ID Explorer, you'll discover, before the addendum becomes necessary, that this modeled element is actually just a line and not a scheduled bean. ID Explorer delivers superior navigation and selection power into the hands of all Revit staff and offers an essential quality assurance solution for BIM managers. Be sure of your data. To learn more about ID Explorer, download the trial and give it a spin. From the help menu, you'll also find access to our support and free online classes. Our help file covers a variety of how-to topics relevant to all Revit users, as well as project and family auditing specific information for BIM managers. Thanks for your attention. For more information on ID8 software, visit us online at id8software.com.